what's going on YouTube um, this is gonna be a pretty long video so but I'll tell you what it's gonna be worth it I got some major major keys to show I got a lot of them too um, so I'm just gonna get started right away um, I'm just telling you want to you definitely gonna want to stick to the end um, first I'm going to show some uh, flea market finds um, I'm whispering because my girlfriend's home first got this the flea market it says 13 bucks don't disregard all that stuff I got that one this is the first appearance of concrete I also picked up this, this is a reprint of Incredible Hulk vs. and Wolverine this is a reprint of 181 I believe and I got Daredevil 254 first typhoid um, Mary uh, this is and I got all three of these for 20 bucks so um, wish I would have got it cheaper, but you know, not, not too bad. It is a flea market, and one of the guys there, he's he sells books. Not he, he don't really have dollar bins or anything. But uh, this is a guy I buy off all the time here. These books here, I just picked it up just because it's a bondage cover. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Can't remember who it is that likes to buy. I think it's is it Hero Hunter or someone like that likes the bondage covers. But it was four bucks. Um, then I got some Justice Society numbers, this is All-Star Comics number 73, it's one of the ones I need, I'm trying to complete the collection. Not the, obviously not the original ones because they're just way too expensive. This is the uh, the later series from the number 58 up. So, that was a dollar. Then I found this one, Spider-Man number 4, um, trying to get the whole set. Um, this is my second one, I got the number 1 and got number 4, it's a dollar. Same thing with this, it was a dollar. Um, this is X23 Target. X number two, I just picked up number one, so. Then I found this for a buck. Um, this is Quasar number 32. This is my second copy now. In the last week I picked picked up two copies. Both for about a buck. Um, actually, both were a dollar. Uh, this is the first appearance of, um, oh my god. What's his name? Koreth the Pursuer. And I found this, just because I like the cover. I already have it, but this is Spider-Man number 13. Just a cool cover, makes the far, far lane cover. And then I found these, these were two bucks a piece, so um, just some cool Grendel stuff I didn't have. Uh, this is, I think that's number one, and this is number two. So I got both of them, and then this was a freebie. He threw it in for, for free. This is a, I think this is from this set, but it's like a zero. Or this is a uh, Ashcan one or something like that. Um, and then I got these two also. This is Devil's Riddle. And I got two, one and two, also for that. That's the flea market stuff. Um, that's all the books I got. But I actually got one more thing from the flea market. I might as well show now before I get to the other books. Um, I paid sixty dollars for all these. Um, it's actually the Tortured Soul collection. Uh, Clive Barker's Tortured Soul. Um, this is by McFarlane. Now, the boxes are a little bit discolored, actually a lot discolored, but um, these are usually retailing for the set for Wave 1, or Series 1, um, like 125 maybe even a little bit more sometimes. But I got it for 60 bucks, so that's number 4. And I got the whole set, so. Um, this is number 6. Some pretty cool. I've been wanting to get these for a while. One of the guys there had it up on his wall. He wanted 90 bucks for it. I just wasn't ready to pull the trip. Actually, he wanted 100. Then he wanted. Then he said he sell it to me for 90. I just held off. Um, this one's a little, a little hole in it, but it's number one. Uh, and then finally, I guess uh, he gave them to some other guy to sell. And the guy sold them to me for for uh, 60 bucks this is number three and look at see this is what he won actually 95 the original guy but the guy who he gave him to to sell sold him to me for 60 so then I got number two and number one or number five so they're pretty cool just uh just ones I want, and I got two stickers on there. So let me just put these away real quick. These are going to get packaged up and put in my garage. So someday I have a man cave. Okay. Now, let's just get 
get some of your books off from eBay or my local. So let me just get started. And a little bit of stack. But these are from one seller. Got them just because they're cool. Um, these were about a buck a piece. So this is uh, Scary Tales number three. This is some cool Charlton books number two and number one. And number one. Um, from what I saw, it's this is uh, actually uh, my exec work uh, artwork inside. So, like I said, they were about a buck a piece, so I picked them up. No big deal. I'll just put that there. And then I got the whole bunch of these books too from Charlton. Uh, like I said, all a dollar piece, so I grabbed them. Number nine, missing number eight. But I got number seven. Uh, number six. This is uh, um, Dr. Coffin or Professor Coffin or something. Uh, turns into later on. Number five. Now, some of these are in horrible condition, but there's a few of them that are pretty good. This is a pretty nice condition one. Number four. Not that they're really worth anything, but number three. Number two. And number one. Number one's not bad. That's a pretty nice condition one, too. Um, probably mid gray, maybe a six, but it's not really worth anything, so nothing to talk about really. And then I got this. This is one of the ones I needed. I need number. I have number one and number three. I need number two, and for I think this was like two bucks or something. So I got that. And then this is just because it's Matt Wagner and it was cool. Uh, Batman Riddler. Uh, so I got that. Also, I picked up some more Elseworld books. These were all about two bucks a piece. Um, this one is Batman Houdini. It's a one shot. Then I got let me show this one first. Number two of Batman Holy Gotham. I don't have three and four. I also got number one. Two bucks a piece. No big deal. And this one was a buck or two. Hercules Unbound, number one. This one here, I paid. I think it was about four or five dollars but it's pretty cool the Eternals number one didn't have it and then that's all from one cell I got all those books I just showed and it was a pretty good deal like I said about dollar two dollar you know a piece I got I think I got the whole stack for like 20 something bucks so not bad and I don't remember how much I paid for each of these um, coming up but maybe I can actually look it up real quick um, but I'll start showing them now. I got a bunch of Aquaman. Let me go down, sorry. Uh, 63 of Aquaman. These are just ones I needed that I didn't have, and I'm trying to complete my series. So, and I'll tell you how much I paid for them. Paid five bucks for that one. 58. Uh, I paid five bucks for that one. 40. I think these most of these were about five bucks. Um, I don't know how much you pay. Oh, I paid eight bucks for that one. Seven ninety nine. Thirty one. Paid seven same price. Seven ninety nine. Uh, Twenty eight. And I paid nine ninety nine for that one. So. And the last one, this is number 23, not in great condition. This is the uh, Birth of Aqualad, or Aqua, Aqua Baby, I'm sorry. So, and I paid eighteen forty nine for that. So, I paid a little bit more money for that book. But pretty cool. But like I said, I got some a lot better books coming up. Some major keys, so just bear with me. We're almost there. Not too many more books to show. Got these for my local. Um... And I paid that's ten dollar for this, but it was like dollar off, so ten percent. I got uh, for nine dollars, which I already have that one. So I just picked up another cop. I didn't realize I had it. And they also got four twelve too, four eleven and four twelve. This is the uh, first cameo appearance of New Words. This is the first full appearance. So pretty cool. And I picked up a second copy of this also because it was fifty percent off. Uh, my local's having a fifty percent off sale. So I got this for fifteen. Uh, originally they were selling for 30 for 15 bucks I'll pick up a second copy and this one's in definitely near my condition so 
And these, there was no discount on these because there were new books. This came in. Um, I got 10% though. So I got a dollar fifty off that. It was originally 15. It was uh, Carnage Wonderful Life, one shot. And I think that one's pretty rare. And then in Carnage My Bomb, um, that was 12 minus a dollar 20. So, and that's the ones I got from my local. That's it. But here goes some of the major keys now. Uh, let me start off with this one because this is one of the lesser priced ones I got. I paid, just won this one. I already have a copy of it, but I got a second copy because it was so cheap. $71.69. So Mariner number one. And it's definitely an MA grade a five, maybe a six. So not bad. I think this is actually a little bit nicer than what I had. I can't remember what grade mine is in. I got. The original one I got, the, the, first, the one I have already, uh, I got graded. And it's when I first started collecting again. So, but it's nice to have a second copy. Okay. Then I got this book here. Well, let me show this one first. I'll show you the other ones I got. In this, I, got I got from one guy. Um, finally, I'm very happy to have this one. I've been trying to get this one for a while. And this one's pretty nice. It got a little... Uh, color break fold, but it doesn't go all the way down. I don't know how to understand that, but it only folds right there, and that's it. That, as far as I say, that goes down to the rest of the book. It's pretty nice. So, um, let me see, I'm trying to show you guys. I got a bunch of my lights coming. I, I just ordered a thousand my lights, my light twos, and fullback. So, but it's, I think it's a really nice looking book, and I'll tell you how much I pay for that one. $81 so not bad now these next books I the guy had these all for sale at you know buy it now prices and I I, e I eBayed him whatever messaged him and I asked him if he would take 220 290 for all these I mean he originally had them for like 360 altogether I think so first book I got he wanted a hundred originally and I got this in the deal Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number three. This is a first printing. So now all I need is a first printing of number two and a first printing of number one. <laughs> so, or I'll be happy with a second or third printing too. I have fourth and up printings of number one, but. And then these the books kind of go together. So I got this one, 569. This is a variant edition um, of first appearance of Anti-Venom. So originally I had this listed at 40 so, or no, yeah, $40. Hmm, something like that. And then this is the big book. This is the book that was the anchor of the deal, I guess you can say. Um, so he had this listed at like a two, two something. And this is in the nine, the, the nine range, definitely near mint range. I would say the lower nines, maybe a nine, nine, two, maybe a nine, four, but I think a nine, nine, two would be good finally got it amazing spider-man number 300 i rock <laughs> so uh and that's not even the best ones yet i got two more books to show and very happy to get these but these i'm even happy happier for the first book i'm going to show you is a graded and it's book i've been trying to get forever i've been trying i almost bought one at the big apple comic con and it just didn't make the deal um, i'm glad i didn't because i got this for a little bit cheaper than that book was and this one's already graded and i and it's probably a, a higher grade too um i paid 318 with shipping so here you go that's right Turn the light on. House of Secrets 92, 7.0 PGX. I'm happy with that. It is a really nice looking book too. Um, just looking at it through the slab. I ain't gonna bother pulling the bag off because it's all taped up. But I am. I can't tell you how, enough how happy I am to have that. I have been trying for almost two years to get this book and just never been able to get it at a good price. So yeah. I rock again <laughs> one more book and this is the big one 
I just couldn't pass the deal up because these books are really, really, really pricey in any grade. I mean, really pricey. And I would say this book here is a two to three. Um, I might be able to pull out a three, maybe even a three five on this. I just got some staple pulls. Um, the staples are all attached, cover still attached. Um, it's not. It, it looks really nice, except for the, like I said, the staple pulls, the tears around the staples. Um, but like I said, they're attached. The inside is really nice. The book's really supple. And okay, are you ready? Well, first let me tell you how much I paid for it. Oh, get the suspense going. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I paid eight hundred sixty-one dollars and two cents. Well, that's me buying more eBay stuff. Uh, okay, here we go. Enough suspense. Last book. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Okay. There it is. You guys know what that is? That is a Strange Tales 110. First appearance of Doctor Strange. And like I said, even in a two to three range, this book is a $1,600 to $1,800 book. And I got it for half that price. So came in, it even came with a free um, plastic case there. And it came in like a Mylite. Maybe a Mylite 2, that is. But anyway, I'll show it to you at that case. But here, okay, I'll take it out of the bag even for you guys. Okay, so here we go. Like I said, this is the uh, staple pulls, but it is still attached. So they got book, they got staple pulls on both sides, but the book is still attached. Cover still attached, if you see. I'm not going to mess with it too much, but both still attached. Inside's really cool. And I'll get it right to the important part. The important page. You ready? Very first appearance of Doctor Strange. Here you go. And this is also the first appearance of what's his name? His master. I can't remember. Um, here you go. This guy here. Uh, Let me show you. I don't see it. I can't remember his name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure. I'll just show you some of that, though. And that's it. That's that's as much as it is. All for those couple pages. Um. Yeah, that's the last page. See. And there goes the muscle one. Oh, yeah, just a few pages. But pretty cool though. It's a. Uh, it's definitely a book that I could get pressed. You see, that it's uh, off. Um, I would, if I get this graded, which I plan to do, I am going to get it pressed. So, um, there you go. The big book. Um, let me get back in the bag. And I do have more books coming, but nothing like this. So, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a while. Um, the only reason I was able to do this is because I got uh, a nice little, uh, um, some money in the mail, or whatever you call it, you know, that I was able to to go get some books that I want to get so uh, but yeah thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it um, just showing off some of my more Harley stuff you know uh, and I don't know if I watched already posted my other video yet if you guys already watched my other video yet but got some more Harley stuff too got this one and this was the cool one so huh. But here, let's show you guys this one again. There you go. Jimmy C. Look at that. Look at that, Jimmy C. Get your heart out. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Check you out later. Bye.